Let's go game hunting in Florida. But first, a little layover in Dallas, Texas. I have arrived for my seven day vacation with my family, so we'll game hunt in seven days. See you then. I lied, I have to show you guys our view from our hotel. Thank you to Joe from Really Rad Weekend. Look at our hotel view right here. Oh my gosh. It is gorgeous. It is officially days later and I have two very important goals in mind, two. The first is to buy the weirdest stuff I can possibly find at this place. I wanna find different, crazy, random, just stuff that people fly out to Florida to find. The second is to see if Caleb can beat me at a game of Jenga because I got him this. This is like $180, by the way. I got him this to go with his Nintendo Switch for his series, you know, the Switch Project or Mission Switch, whatever he's doing. Gotta get my badge first. Look at the, it says my name on the badge. They're all laser cut acrylic, hand painted. That's the most detail I've ever seen put into a con. You try. Well, I can tell. a really rad weekend. Okay, before I start, okay, I'm looking for super weird. That's my thing. Okay. But I also told the audience, if I beat you at a game of full-size Jenga later. Full-size Jenga? Full-size okay. Jenga, yeah, I'm gonna yeah. give you this $180 4K upscaler for the Nintendo <laughs> Switch. Oh and I know gosh. you're in your Switch mission Switch I right am. now. So but for now, get your hands off it until you beat me. <laughs> Wait, so do I even have to contribute to anything? You have to beat me, that's it. That's the only thing. Ooh, I take it. Sir, I have a, I have a hat back there someone's holding for me. The one behind Samurai Ghost. Yes, there it is, baby. Let me see that. Okay, perfect. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. How much is this? I don't even know. I told him to hold it for me. Game Boy. It's beautiful. It's sexy. They made it. They custom made it. I'm okay with that. But I'm gonna buy it. I'm gonna buy it. I think it's thirty bucks. All right. First item already is that Game Boy hat. Yes, they made it. Yes, it's a reprint, so to say. But it's awesome. Thirty bucks. I had to get it. Anything that's actually really embroidered looks beautiful. My boy Retro Beard over there snagged an Ultra 64 hat though earlier. I'm gonna go give him a hard time about it. Hey bro, what's your problem taking an Ultra 64 hat, bro? I took four of them. You took? Oh my gosh! You son of a gun! Oh, I thought you meant you took four yeah. of the Ultra 64. Yeah, yeah. They had that one too. Son of a gun! Is that? Come on, that's my jam. I hate you. I'm gonna steal this too, thanks man. All right, at the table of the infamous JHMDF, Scott, one of the original, if you watch our old channel, he's like the OG on our channel. He's got great stuff, has always like, Wild Guns was a staple of our show back in the day. It's like everything we were looking for, but he has something super wild that I have to show you guys. I have to, it's beautiful. Look at this, so this is unreal to me. So as you guys know, I'm a shirt guy. And this, I've never seen this style of Nintendo World Championships in 1990. You know, we all kind of have seen the same designs on it, but the design on this one is one I've never seen. It's the head-to-head -head video combat, and it's just a beautiful shirt. He's asking crazy numbers on it right now, which I don't blame him because you cannot find it. It's obviously clearly vintage, so... Again, uh, not for me right now, but maybe eventually. Ooh, that'd be a little sick outfit right there, though. All right, I said Scott always has the cool stuff. I have to know a little bit more about this right here. The Nintendo Power 100. Can, can I touch it? Yeah, go for it. Can I lift it? You can lick it if you can. I, can I steal it? Wow, look at that. Tell me about this. So it's a gold controller. Yes. And I say that not being obvious, but it basically is just a regular gold controller that Nintendo, when they put out the 100th issue of Nintendo Power, uh, they did a promotion that this was uh, essentially like a giveaway, I believe. I don't think you could purchase it necessarily, wow. but it's somewhere between 1,000 and 5,000 of them were made. It's one of those where like there's no- What's like number. estimated value? Like 300 bucks. Okay. There. Depending, obviously it's a gold controller. Yeah, yeah, yeah So yeah. like it can be really beat up and gross. Yeah. Or it can be minty perfect. I would say this one falls like somewhere in the middle of yeah, those. Yeah, yeah. You know. Freaking A, dude. Backstage with Scott, and we have this right here. And what you have on the back is Zelda Ocarina of Time promo cart and guide holder. So give me a little on this too. I'm gonna buy this for me right now. So when you open it up, you have you know super protection. You know, don't worry about oh, your yeah. cards. They're not going anywhere in here with this millimeter thin protection. Yeah. But you can put four game cards, you can put like a strategy guide there, maybe one in there. 
this is kind of like, I don't know, put your snacks, your gummy bears. Yeah, or some something. gushers back in the day, you yeah. know. But it was yeah, a promo item for when Ocarina of Time came out on N64. Yeah. It's, I would say for promo items, it's a little more unique. It definitely is. Whoever else made like a flimsy trapper keeper. Yeah, <laughs> it's hard to find too. We kind of looked it up a little bit. Yeah. Yes. And it's, it's pretty hard yeah. to find <laughs> these exact ones. Yeah, there's a lot of like, no, you know, we've no, seen like no. the Game Boy, or wherever it is, it's not there anymore. The Game it's Boy, it's sold, there yeah. you go, okay, it's gone. <laughs> like the Game Boy ones, you said a little more, but you never yeah. seen this one. Yeah. So freaking awesome. Yes, I shall pay you right Woo. now. Speaking of like the weirdest things you've ever seen, there's Caleb. No, but for real. All right, hey, what's up, bro? Good to see you. Oh my gosh, that's so beautiful behind you. I wasn't even looking at that. But wow. this gentleman, I've worked with him before years ago on the video. What, is this how they held cartridges in, in Japan? I think so, and then we got the manual for it. But um, yeah. I've never seen that before. Oh, wow, and that's actually Nintendo licensed? Uh, or is that like a bootleg thing made in? No, I think it's, it's, uh, it says copyright Nintendo, so. Um... I have never seen that before. It's so unique, how much is this? Um, I'm doing 50 for the combo. 50 for the, for the combo of it. That's pretty pretty, I might have to pick this up. I'm trying to find weird stuff, and this is definitely color weird. Oh, also, is that a Wonder Swan? Yes, and it, these are all the games for it. Um, wow, like look that. at this, Caleb. Caleb, look, learn about things you don't know about, which is everything, but a Wonder yeah. Swan. This is games. a video game? I know nothing about Wonder Swans. So does this work? Yeah. How does it play? I think you turn the power button on, and then you can press the buttons to move the characters. So That's weird, dude. I don't think that it works takes, like that. It takes one double A. One double A? Take out the game like that. Ooh, spicy meatballs. Oh, wow. I've never even, even seen a Wonder Swan in action after 10 years. Oh, it's, it's going, going on. It's going, going on. on. There it is. The Wonder Swan looks better than I thought it would, to be honest. I had never researched anything with the Wonder Swan. Wow, yeah. Pretty crisp colors and vibrance. All right, you said you have something. Literally just walked up to me. He's like, I have something I want to try to sell you. And I was like, oh. Oh. How much you thinking on it? <laughs> I like how immediately I was like, they, oh, they go for 30. They go for 30. Okay, yeah. well, what do you want yeah. for it? No, they have them in here. <gasps> and they're so clean. So I'm not gonna lie, dude. I had these a long time ago and I had a friend who was looking for them and I sold them to him. He was like, I need them, I need them. And I haven't got them back since. Oh man. Well, I mean, do you have a price in mind that you're, like you're thinking on, those. on these? Well, what do you want to say, 60 for the whole thing? Whole you do thing? 60 for everything? So 10 a piece on that and 20 on the bag. So 20 for the bag, 10 a piece on these, that would be 60 for everything? Yeah. How many are in here? So There's one. Four, all, four, all four. Oh, they're all, di all different variants. Yeah, they're variants, yes. Oh, you have all the variants. Okay. So things now just got more interesting for me. Island World, he's just an island boy and Pipeland. Because it's the set and they're all different, yeah. I'll take you up on the 60. All right, you. Thank you, sir. Riggs, so you judge me. So far, my goal for my video has been to buy only like unique items, not like games or anything. How am I doing so far? This is what I, I got the whole set. This is all the different oh, wow. ones. I haven't seen these in forever. You got all different versions. I like how they kind of arch out a little bit. Yeah, they're beautiful. They don't, they don't do that anymore. Now it's just like square grid. Yeah. All right, and then I got this. Now this is sweet. It's, oh. it, open it up. It holds your game guide for Ocarina of Time and the cartridges. Cartridges? More than, there's only made one. No. Car cartridge, uh, oh yeah, I know I, what I you're see saying. What, okay, yes, see. you know what Wait I mean, Riggs. And then lastly, a Nintendo Power like satchel now, bag. Now, come on, this. Yeah. This is the sweetness. That's pretty cool. You can put like the first, you can put like the first like 10 issues in there or something like that. How, how many rigs out of 10 do I get so far in my uniqueness? Uniqueness? Of, of what I'm buying. I'm not trying to buy regular stuff like everybody else buys. Right. What's oh, my no, score and I, I so that's far? Kind of your thing. And that Game Boy hat's pretty sweet too. Oh yes, and a Game Boy hat. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. What's the score so far out of, oh. how much more work do I need to put in? You know, if it was just the satchel and the Zelda, it may be like a five out of 10, but the complete, and not just one or two, but a complete Mario 3 set of the Happy Meal boxes. I mean, it's a solid eight so oh, far. I'm getting, okay. I'm sure there's something deep in there around the corner. Okay. The shelf that you don't have it seen yet. I can't end the video until I get a 10 from Rig. So I'll work on it, I'll get more, I promise. Right. I, I, I might have the thing that makes it, maybe make it turn it into a 10. <laughs> we'll, we'll see though. You okay. worked at GameStop for 10 years, About and what's happened? Okay. And I accumulated some cool stuff. Some Coolio stuff. And you mentioned not having the way to carry it. Maybe this would help. <gasps> Oh my, my. Now I like this. It's funny, Bandai Namco now at just this point reminds me of Smash Bros. on the Wii U. I don't know why. It's full it's like, of goodies. Oh, it's full of goodies. Stuff with your name on it. Oh boy. Uh oh. I'm scared. Oh gosh. 
Oh yeah, I'm definitely scared. Oh, a Mr. Robot hat. Wow. Oh, so it's all like oddities and it's all pretty much either stuff they wow they have Xbox 360. Stuff. So what is that? These are the Punisher shirts that they gave out with the uh, not for resale. Oh, um, with the uh, game from Genki, I believe. Oh wow! Okay, that is cool and unique. Okay, you got more Place like plates that I got from the show. So this is all like GameStop stuff that was just kind of. Do you see that look from the GameCube game? Not for resale. The Marvel Ooh. Punisher. Not for hey, Phoenix. I'm jealous. Yeah, that is cool. So I mean, what do you kind of want? What's this? Look at this. We love golf. Get that out with the Wii. I love. We love golf. Ladies and gentlemen, we have upped the ante. We bought. The two Punisher shirts, and the reason I bought them is they are not for resale. Both of them right there. He said they came from the GameCube era when they were releasing. He thinks the video game, you see the THQ logo right there. And then also this Bandai Namco bag, which I didn't realize was an actual travel bag. It's a roller bag. So how cool is that? I just thought it was a duffel. Riggs, Riggs, John, I need you. It's of in dire importance. You gave me an eight last time for where I was at. Bandai Namco, bag, and then two GameCube not for resale Punisher tees. What's my look, my score now from an eight? Not for, not for resale. Not for resale? Uh, can I get like an 8.5 or maybe like an 8.8? <gasps> so I'm at a nine now. Yeah. I'm almost there. And that's A-S-L for nine. Oh, oh, I like that. Um, okay. Yeah. So I need one more point to get a 10 from you. I think so. That's okay, okay. Like I said, there's gotta be something on the floor, top shelf, you can't quite see it. Maybe I can okay. reach up there and grab it. I won't sleep tonight unless I get a 10 from John. Was just walking along and a lone wolf approached me and was like, I have something. Do you miss a retro wolf? Yes. First of all, up? it's too kind of you. Yeah, man. But I don't know what, you, what you're so, trying to give me right now. I don't now. know if this is something you're going to be interested in or not, but I'll tell you uh -oh. what, it's pretty freaking cool. I, I just saw the, a piece of it come out of your backpack and Dude, I totally love it. This, so I found this at a flea market. This is from 1997. It chronicles McDonald's collectibles from 1979 to 1996. Look at this. Dude. Did you know I was filming the video I'm filming today is literally only buying weird items Wait, and obscure really? items. So you're really? showing me a weird and obscure item. Well, this is perfect, man. I mean, look at this, dude. Man. Yeah, it's got pictures. It's got information oh about you know all gosh. these different Happy Meal toys. There is actually a Let Mario see. Bros. Three. Oh. I have a great idea. Okay, what do you got? I just bought yeah. the original set with all four different variants really? of the Happy Meals. Nice. No, like just now in the convention. Dude, just now. Just now. Wow. Dude. I could like frame this and display it next to it. Yeah, dude. Dude! Absolutely. You just made like my video so much cooler than I knew it was gonna be. It's like it was meant to be. It's like it was meant to be. Dude. There's the Slimer from, from Ghostbusters. Yeah, Buster. freaking the Slime Boy. Yeah, dude, I mean, it's just. Nobody so, calls him Slime Boy, by the way. Some more bad, yeah, right? Yeah. Right. Freaking Retro Wolf, what a guy. There what you a go. freaking good guy you are. Thank you. Honestly, this is really cool. Yep. Like, I love it. For real. I'm not a wolf. I'm not a wolf. Taking a break from game hunting to hang out with the homie of homies, the original of originals, Ooh. Mr. J. How's it going? It's going good. Let's try uh, hot head burritos. I want that. This video is sponsored by me. Thank you so much for everybody who joined the Patreon last week, by the way. I saw a whole bunch of new people come in. It means more than you know. I appreciate it. And what better way to celebrate than by challenging Caleb. If you can beat me in Jenga, All I right. will give this to you. I'm not going to lie. Yes, this was sent to me, Caleb, by a company. But yes, it does hold like $170 value. Well, hey, I'll take it. Missing switch. This will help you, bro. Yeah, no, this will be absolutely perfect in my next one on stream. All right, Caleb. <laughs> You know, what, you know what? what my favorite what? part? My favorite part of this upscaler yes. is right here. Cross what the? to turn on. Oh <laughs> my god! Hey, there are some YouTube channels who have said this thing works very well. So besides Pross to turn on, <laughs> you'll be in 4K style if you can beat me. All right, all right. First, first pull. Wow. So, whoa, that looks nice. Oh man, it's in there pretty rough. Here we go. It's already wobbly. Oh, wow. How's it already wobbly? Do you want to take out the bottom? That's not the best way to win, but go for it. All right, I'm gonna prove you wrong. Oh baby. Oh gosh. Oh no. That got wiggly. That got wiggly. Let's see, it's a little stiff, but Caleb's going. It's a little stiff in there, Caleb. That's the only way I like it. Oh god. Come on. A little bit at a time. Oh, that's tough. 
Oh, oh wow, that gave a real wobble. Wow. All right, it's at this point where Riff does Riff things. I think I'm gonna go big or go home. Please do. I'm gonna attempt to knock this out in one swipe. I've seen it before on the internet before. Okay. Oh God. It's gonna get 15 splinters. Ooh! Okay, now I'm gonna yank from the other side. All right, ready? Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh! Thank you very much, sir. How does it feel? I mean, I'm happy you got it! Mission switch. I can't wait to process this all day. Back here to look at this elusive and beautiful. Do you know like the actual title for this or anything? Yes. Or? So, right there, Don Jada Game. So, Super Mario Brothers 2. Oh, wow. It's from ages 5 to adults and 2 to 4 players. Wow, okay, so this is from Super Mario Brothers 2 era. Yes. This thing's cool, man. I'll tell you, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I wish I did not fly, man. I'll tell you that much. Wow. That is, it's so illustrious because of the size of it. It's massive. Can you pop that open for me so I can see in there a little bit? If that's okay. I don't want um, you to have to feel like you can do anything you don't want. You want to leave it closed, bro? Well, I can be one of those shady merchants and then charge you like what? Oh, you know, oh, the full price afterwards. I'll right? leave. <laughs> I'll you go now. It, you yeah, yeah. <laughs> Actually, I've never opened it before. Really? That he's never opened it either. So let's see. Well, you got a camera to record it, so I might as well. Hey, there we go, and people will see it. So we're showing it to the world. Yeah. Let's see. Bup, bup, here, I'll help you lift. Thank you. Oh wow! So it is new. I don't think this has been. This is this is still like. I think this is still properly sealed shut. I don't want you to open that. Actually, um, wow. it's probably been opened already. They and, might have um, got the it. Japanese action. are really notorious for packing it up. And got it. All nice. packaged. So you don't have to take any of that out. But I just want to see this. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that is pretty. I just love seeing like the way different art is portrayed in different regions. Mouser looks so cool there. Peach is shocked so, out of her mind. They call him. Uh, that says fire. Um, oh no. And it's they call him Koopa. And, Koopa, yeah, Koopa. In, in Japan. So I see. I like like the different worlds and the different way things are portrayed. You got the underwater levels. You got like the Bowser levels up here. You got the notorious end of stage castle right there. I love it, dude. I keep finding super interesting things here so I can't leave, just like last time. I, I was like, you, oh, they have bonks, like Japanese knockoff like band-aids? And he's like, no, that's what they came in. Why have I never seen that before? Because um, I'm dumb? <laughs> you need to go to Japan. I oh, there you go, that's true right there. So. Wow, I did not know that. You couldn't have told me this for the life of me and I wouldn't have believed you. I've never seen a game come in a tin like this. So there's the inserts, there's the... Yeah, the game and the, the, some paperwork as well. Son of a gun, dude. So they also have a console hall. I can never say those two words well. Console hall with a bunch of cool stuff. One of my favorite, the old astronaut looking TV helmets. They got the singer, by the way, Game Boy sewing machine right here. Sorry, Brixton. They got like, is that Tamagotchi? I'm not sure. A pocket Hello Kitty and the original Nintendo right here. Oh, and yes, Brixton's pointing out the Target, Target Game Boy Advance. Now this is interesting. This actually was the first TV Game 15 by Nintendo. It's over here somewhere. I'll have to go find it where he put it. Also, you see a lot of people talk about this right here, but you don't see many people showing the Panasonic GameCube controller. So I quickly realized this is basically chronologically placing consoles and different weird variants of the Mountain Dew, the sports one. You got the, I always forget the name of this, this color right here. The clear PlayStation looking beautiful. Virtual Boy, the first basically VR adventure, by the way. Jack Bros. Now that's an expensive game right there. Still looking for that. Joe and Bricks, how's it look? Black. Black. See <laughs> Gotta turn it on. <laughs> I officially, it's like the fifth time I've been to you. I'm officially pulling the trigger on this, man. It's, what's this, what's this say underneath? Is it like any sort, or if you even slightly know, you don't have okay, to know. So, um, so this will be the Rumble Pack version. So this is the Rumble Pack uh, edition. Okay, got um, it. Man, I'm, so, I'm just, I'm so in love with this case, man. So what they did was they changed the cover on the um, instruction manual and the box cover and all that. So I think um, we don't have the original um, box. But, oh my gosh. And I don't have another so version cool. of the original Super Mario. So New Super Mario 64 did not come with the Rumble. Um, uh, they came out with the Rumble afterwards. So what happened was they re-released it. Um, I guess if you like the vibrator kind of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, here's this. I'm well aware this video is all over the place, but check this out. This is where the tournaments are for like Smash Bros and Tekken and everything. And look at the view behind you. 
I mean, it just doesn't get much better than that. And on the opposite end, we have the same thing. That is pure, beautiful ocean over there. All right, over here, we have Shady J in his third round of the Tekken Finals. And then we got Caleb over there going into the first round of Smash Bros right now. 20 minutes later, we can confirm Caleb is a gamer. He's won the first match. Wait a sec, what happened? I won, you I won my first round. <laughs> Nice job. Nice job. He did kill himself once, but so did I, so, you know, I'll take <laughs> it. You lose! Good day, sir! It's officially the next morning, and I feel like I just have to say this. The whole reason Joe calls this thing really rad weekend is it's not even necessarily about the games and the game hunting, but the fact that he honestly just wanted gamers and YouTubers and everyone to just kind of come together and have an actual really rad weekend. And I just have to say that, yeah, that is exactly what this weekend has been. Well done, Joe. This has been nothing but beautiful and relaxing. Time to go for another walk right now. It's a little cold out right now, so I got, I'm bundled up. And then of course, you only see me game hunt. Let's go. Although the last thing I'm waiting on is to get a 10 out of 10 from John Riggs. So let's see if I can get my Riggs rating up to a 10. Gotta ask, how much is this uh, champion right here? There's a champion, champion? single stitch USA yeah. right here yeah. hanging out. What's this guy? Wife's. I think she was asking $20. That's the wife's. Uh oh, now I'm in trouble. Uh, That's the wife's. I would come down 15, but I might have to sleep outside. You know, I. <laughs> ooh, Springfield Rocks. That's a cool one. How much is that one? Uh, 20 on that one. That one's awesome. Yeah. Dang. One. Well, I mean. Now come on, you need this hat, too. Bro, you know what's funny? Look at that. Hat. I think I own this hat. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I would do this, I'll take this one. Right, cool. Yeah, sounds good. For those of you who any what slightly care about fashion, rocking a old single stitch white with some brown corduroys are gonna be just wow. sexy, I promise. Do you care about style? <laughs> Clearly not. <laughs> oh gosh. Hey. This is style right here, some uh, pizza sauce on the, on the cool. Adidas shirt. <laughs> oh, and then they gave me this one, by the way. How nice of them. They know I love my America clothing. Never thought I'd see the moment I see a banana phone being signed by Scott. There's deeper to this that everyone doesn't know about, but still. I'm going to deface this a little bit. Listen, and you, the shirt the you're a legend time. on YouTube. <laughs> you go down in the history books. So let's see it, though. Oh, yeah. the, real, the real question is, does he have a good signature? I do. I'm always. I'm gonna put it right, right on the Let's banana. See. That's wow. cool. Okay. I've never signed someone's banana before. So Dang. it's sass. That looks like it says sus. <laughs> sass. It is sus. People are gonna be like, who's that? <laughs> <laughs> who signed your thing? Uh, some random homeless guy at a convention. The, the very very short version of the story is uh, he is replacing one he used to have yeah. that went away to a friend that the friend passed away. Yeah. So there's more meaning to it. Yeah, absolutely. So that's awesome. And you had to, a part in it somehow yeah. too. I had him sign it because he got me into this whole debacle of collecting and nonsense. So. I'm sorry for I created a, a new wave of resellers about 12 years ago. Yep. So. Oh, really? Yeah, there's another one over there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what better optimal time to do it? Caleb was just filming a video I was helping him with. Caleb just bought all these Switch games, and I'm looking to get an approval, a 10 out of 10 rating from Father Riggs, and he happens to be. <laughs> you do not need my approval, I promise. I, I can't end this video until I get a 10. <laughs> I'm at like a nine or 9.5 from you. Okay. What game can I buy in here to make it? Also, keep in mind, a game that I actually want to enjoy. I'm a platformer kind of guy. Sure. No, I'm I know. Okay, I know about what kind of games you like. I also don't know what you have yet in your collection. Okay, first. throw out a couple, and I can. Uh... Hold on a second. I'm looking for the most expensive game. Oh, uh, uh, <laughs> classic Smart. Caleb. Smart. <laughs> what do we got, John? What are we thinking, John? A hundred dollar oxen free. No, uh, I've heard a lot of people like about oxen free. I've heard a lot of people love that game. You know, I haven't played it first, I'm going to uh, hand you this back. Oh, <laughs> dude. Uh oh. Have you played this? Uh, Brigadine. <laughs> <laughs> um, actually, so I've been wanting to play it. I only got to play a demo of that. Ooh. So is it like a monster world? It, it, it plays like type? a monster world game, absolutely. It plays like just those classic games from like, you know, the Master System, Sega Genesis. Again, I mean, you're kind of more of a Nintendo guy, so am I. But I mean, come on, man. This game, super fun, super colorful, a little bit of the Metroid Binia style. If this so far, Without even looking at the rest of the collection, I promise you this is probably my favorite okay. game of all. Okay. Caleb, how much is this? For you, I know there's a $40 price tag on it, but for you, $50. <laughs> I'm just kidding, man. Honestly, you can have it. No, I'm not taking it. My I gift. have to pay you. My gift I have you. to Seriously. pay you. With that said, John, can I just have you say for my son just to say it? For my son. For my son. <laughs>